Here we go with a little bit of homework help from Unit 5, Lesson 9. Problem 1 is talking about some phases of the moon. When we talk about this term new moon, that means the moon is completely dark. We don't see any slivers of light. But uh, on the first day after the new moon, day 1, we see 2% of the moon's surface is illuminated, such as right here. When we talk about the second day, we see 6%, approximately 6% is illuminated. The next question comes down to this. Based on this information, predict the day on which the moon's surface is 50% illuminated and then 100% illuminated. So what I'd like for you to do is give me this answer as an ordered pair with 50% for one of them. And then the other one is whatever day you choose and 100% illuminated. And if you don't answer in order of pairs, that just tells me you weren't paying attention during the video. Part B says the moon's surface is 100% illuminated on day 14. So this is an assumption throwing something out there. Does this agree with the prediction that you made in the previous problem? Yes or no? And explain why or why not. Explain how far off yours is, anything like that. And then finally, tell me, is the percentage illumination of the moon's surface a linear function of the day? Next problem, Jada uses a graduated cylinder with water in it to measure the volume of some marbles. After dropping in four marbles, so they are all underwater, the water in the cylinder is at a height of 10 milliliters. After dropping in six marbles, so they are all underwater, the water in the cylinder is at a height of 11 millimeters. What is the volume of one marble? Again, we have a couple people, pieces of information. Four marbles give us a total of 10 milliliters. And six marbles give us a total of 11 milliliters. So the question is, what is the volume of one marble? Give your answer, but don't include milliliters. Just give me a number right in the box. How much water was in the cylinder before any marbles were dropped in? So this would be your y-intercept. This one right here would be your constant rate or your slope. So make sure that you know how to find that y-intercept and you give me just the number. Do not include milliliters in your answer for, this, for part B. And then for part C, what should be the height of the water after 13 marbles are dropped in? Do not include milliliters in your answer. You'll just give me a number right here. It would be the second half or the y-coordinate of this order pair of 13 and blank. I want this number right here. Is the volume of water a linear relationship with the number of marbles dropped in the graduated cylinder? Assume the marbles are all exactly the same size. And then for the last one, part E, if so, what does the slope of the line mean? If not, explain your reasoning. Well, if the marbles are all the same size, the same mass, everything, you know, just assume that this is what's going to be. Okay. And I think, I think, that is the last question for your homework. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for working. Have a great day.